Bonjour, my name is Nongo Queen in Bristol Class, Magazine Ode Do Dem, Anishinaabe Queen in Dal Grand Rapids in Gonjwa. My name is Kelly, I'm 14 and I go to Union High School. My name is Mia, I'm 11 and I go to Zinzer Elementary. My name is Nico, I'm 13, I go to uh, Cali Hills Middle School. My name's Jorge, people call me Little, I'm 16 and I go to Rogers High School. My name's Henry, so I'm 15, I go to Lee High School. I'm Kiana, I go to East Catwood, and I'm 14. And I'm Mariah, I'm 14, and I go to City High School. My dream is to go to college, go to college, and they do something with sports, like be a coach or they be in a sport. Man, like, I want to go to college and finish college and probably go to, like, to the NBA or something like that. Do a photography program so I can be a photographer. For me, my dream is to, you know, I want to be a lyricist. I like writing lyrics. It's a way for me to cope and get rid of some anger, worries, or anything that I have on my mind. And it's one thing no one can ever take from me. Okay, my dream is to become a graphic designer and make video games and become an architect at the same time to build places and create video games that'll be smart. For a lot in life and I like saw it so I was like I just want to like make sure I don't do that and follow her path and just follow my own path because I just want to do what I want to do I have, like every day before I leave I have like a basketball in front of my door I think it like, inspired me not to do nothing bad and how my dad was an alcoholic so like I learned like because he ended up passing away I don't want to go down the same path that he did so it kind of makes me want to be better than that football a lot too. Mm -hmm. So then like my favorite player was Michael Vick and he got in trouble for like dog fighting and then they he had learned from his mistakes and now he had to do what he has to do and now he's back to being a real good football player. And it's just like like once you like make a mistake you can always learn from it and do better. Well I can't I came up with a saying on my poster it said who needs a candle when you're your own light? I put that on there because people like to be followers, as other people call it, and I'm me. I don't like to follow people. I, I like to be a leader. Well, what I put on mine was not to go to jail because, like, because I don't want to go to jail because I don't want to do anything stupid to make me go to jail and stuff like that. I've made some mistakes in my life and been through some things and, you know, been down the wrong path and I'm trying to go down the right path right now. It's pretty hard to stay above because you run into the same people everywhere you go, no matter where you do, no matter what you do, you see the exact same thing. And then you slowly start seeing the after effects, you actually don't want to be there. And there's people who have actually done the effects of what drinking and smoking done. They were completely scared, so they vowed not to do it again. And some of them got such a good high off of it, they can't do it again because they know it will wreck their lives. So then, like, I got my family that just supports me, and this, that that and they like, influence me, and my little brother, my sister, it's influenced me to stay up and above. I just think like a hard thing to stay with the influence is like people around me that are under the influence, and they like if I'm stressed about something, they could like influence me to want to do what they're doing too, like drugs or alcohol. But like really it's actually a depressant and like I go to counseling so my therapist will like tell me the bad effects of it and it's like I stay away from that because it just makes them worse. I run down the street from wherever I go like that, so then I just grab my ball and just stay at the park or wherever I, and then just shoot around and, let, and everything goes away. I like, like when I get mad. I got a little, like, I don't check it out on anybody. I just, like, walk away for a little bit and, like, go down and come back. Depends on mood. Like, if I'm happy, let's just write down, you know, stupid little funny stuff. I basically tell my cousins that are younger than me and some that are just, like, a few months, just to tell them to look at our aunts 
look at our uncles. That's exactly where you're gonna go to, and they tell us exactly don't do it. One of my uncles, he went into a seizure just because he didn't have enough alcohol into his system. He was that much into it. I tell my brothers and sisters, like, never get off your dreams and, like, don't steal or anything and don't do bad things. I've told them many times, you know, do a lot more things different than I did and, you know, make, make way better decisions than I did. You know. A lot of the kids at my school don't know anything about natives because in our history book, it's only two pages. They got about when they send them into the Red camp, concentration camps and the rest. That's it. They don't say anything besides that. They say crazy. Well, one time in history class, we were like studying a lot about Native Americans, and then something we were reading, it was just saying that alcoholism is a big thing with Native Americans. The thing that made me mad is like stereotypes, pretty much. It's just that I see like, oh, you're Native American, is your family alcoholics? Are you an alcoholic? And it's like, if you don't want people to think of you like that, then don't be like that. That kind of goes with like family patterns, like just be different. And I think of people like saying Native Americans are alcoholics and everything. I think of that as the past. You know, I ain't worried about what I was doing. I'm worried about what I am doing and how I'm gonna finish. One of the powwows up north, there was a drunk man who came up to the powwows. And you can't have anything to drink, like any type of Bud Light or anything, four days before you do any ceremony. You have to be completely sober for four days and you have to be with your drunk. So you cannot be drunk when you go down and you mess with any type of drunk. It changes the spirit of what you have. Drum represents the heartbeat of life, the heartbeat of Mother Earth. It's, you know, and the reason it's a circle is because life goes in a circle. It's the reason you know, we go clockwise around the drum because that's the way life goes. That drum is a uh, sacred thing, you know. When you join the brotherhood of drum, you are enjoying a pack of sobriety. You don't drink, you don't smoke. And a lot of reasons why people drum is to quit. I'm on a um, hand drum group, and we're, we're a sobriety drum. We have one spirit to all of our drums. You can't really keep that spirit together unless you guys are all together using your drums. I think you should smoke or drink because it's disrespecting. Family, cousins, lots of friends. No, they still out there doing the same thing I was just last summer and the summer before that, out there smoking weed and drinking. You know, either cops show up or someone starts shooting or a fight breaks out. Are you so drunk you can't even get home? And, you know, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna go hang out, but I'm not gonna be that kid that's in there smoking weed and drinking. You know, I wanna go in there and have a good time and have fun. You know, but I'm gonna leave the same way I went in. But you can still be friends with the people who do that and just like be independent and make your own decisions because <coughs> if you can do it on your own and just say no by yourself, it's that's fine right there. Like as long as you know you can do it. It's like I have some close friends who have been doing like the wrong things and everything, but I still try to like stay close to them because for at least one of my friends I know, I talked to them about how they used to do something and like they've gotten over it. Like, I don't know if it was just me, but like, I wasn't judging them about it. I was just trying to help them and like help them see how it's gonna affect their future. I feel kind of good about that. That's why I try to stay friends with those people. And it's like, they need someone to be there for them too. I don't know about plans. Plans can change. I gotta get to do this and make sure I wanna accomplish their goals, like drive a train and get a job and then my extra time just go play basketball. So to keep me out of whatever happens in my neighborhood or at home. You just make the decisions that you think is gonna be best for you. Don't plan on anybody else being there. Don't plan on anybody else depending on you. Just do what you gotta do to make it through. We don't Yo, 